I need a favor. Can you drive me around and pretend to be my chauffeur this afternoon? Wait, you want me to drive one of your cars? I gotta be classy today. Now that I've got money, I'm gonna buy some art from the kind of collectors who have chauffeurs. Come pick me up at the museum. I've been doing some research so I can blow them away. Be right there. So, what are we buying? Three Noshoni Fisher pieces. She's my hero. She made these amazing whimsical sculptures, sheet metal welded over steel frames. I promised myself that if I ever had money, I'd buy some of her work. Okay, now keep quiet. I'm gonna call the first collector. You're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher original. Surprise. Huh? It's a big metal apple with a rattlesnake coming out of it. Ah, uh, that piece of junk. Well, I'm a huge fan of the artist and it can make you a very attractive offer. Ah, <laughs> there is no amount of money in the world you could offer me for that. <laughs> My ex-husband bought it as an investment and it drives him nuts that I got it in the divorce. <laughs> you cannot buy that kind of spite. <laughs> but she hung up on me. Well, we could just take it. I don't want to take it. I want to buy it. This is my chance to be part of the art world. Legit. Look, <laughs> if she didn't want to sell because she actually loved it, that'd be one thing. But she doesn't even like it. You do. Why should she get to keep it to spite you? I mean, I guess art is meant to be appreciated. Okay, let's get it. That won't fit in the trunk. We're gonna have to tow it. Ah, it is made out of steel. Just. Drive careful, okay? This is not how I expected my first big art purchase to go.
one. And this time, we'll do it right. Yes? Hi, I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece? Music of the Desert. The cactus statue. Yes. Well, like yourself, I am a collector of fine art, and I would like to buy the piece from you. I'm prepared to pay what it's worth. Oh, I don't need the money, huh? I'm sure you don't, but... But I do need the cactus. Oh, it makes a great place to hang the kids' swimsuits on summer days. Uh, sorry. What the fuck? She's gonna rust out the frame hanging wet shit on it. That's not how you treat art. So, we'll be taking this one? <sighs> Looks like. Rust it out, just like I thought. I'll need to be extra careful driving, or it'll fall apart. I have an appointment somewhere else. No, 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 no! I guess not everybody actually appreciates art, even in the art world.
down. One to go. This time, we do it right for sure. Heidi, Heidi. Yes, hello. I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher Moon River. It's a cow. <laughs> Wait, what? That thing? Oh my god. Me and my sorority sisters stole it from outside the Santo Aliso Community Center in college. I was so drunk, I threw up on it. Ugh. Yeah, we're stealing this one, too. Hey, watch it! This piece is really fragile. Try not to destroy it on the way home, okay? We interrupt your broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted fleeing the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay, good news, we're part of the art world. Bad news, as art thieves. Fuck that, we are art liberators. Now drive. Look, Nina, pigs chasing a cow. <laughs> Get it? This cow handles like shit. on the way home, okay? We interrupt your broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted fleeing the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay, good news, we're part of the art world. Bad news, as art thieves. Fuck that, we are art liberators. I'm dry. Whatever they do, it'll survive the dragon. You are in possession of a stolen cow! 
Fuck off. My friend wants this cow. This cow handles like shit. Must not want a war with the saints over some asshole's cow. I'm really sorry that didn't go down the way you wanted. Nah, those people weren't really art collectors. They're just assholes. I'll make it into the art world for real soon enough. At least I've got the Fisher pieces I always wanted. And I'm gonna treat them right. I mean, once I repair all the damage, we did liberate. Setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. The anarchists are in a state of chaos, huh? Well, who could have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <clears throat> it's crepe paper. With a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! Uh, no? The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshal interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks that we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I am declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. They'll fight a war of red tape. We need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm gonna fucking kill Atticus. Oh, that coming. But 
That won't solve our problem. It's gonna solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm gonna fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. You have called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. Ugh. What do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press 1. For billing, press 2. For the complaints department, press 3. Finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press 1. To leave a message, press 2. To leave a death threat, press 3. Fuck you. 3. Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. See? Tried words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our hands to get out of this world. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first so everyone can calm down and then we can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow! You know you two are being enablers right now. It's all here. We're here. Let's bust in and make our way to the top floor. That's where Shithead's office is. Bring me Atticus! You son of a bitch! Come down here and fight me! As much as I love to see Atticus fight the same battle, that is not a stop. Let me take the elevator straight to the end. Oh. Oh. The Saints don't belong to you! Copy that. Stay safe. I don't know what to do to Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him. You could just shoot him. Nah, I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? <sighs> kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We're not waiting years, okay? Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security lockdown. We're on foot from here. Welcome 
to Marshall Defense Industries. What may I help? See? Won't take us years to get through it this way. We're not actually getting through. Welcome to Marshall Legal. Shit, it's a trap. The sniper's on the upper floor. I should snipe him back. Gotta take those snipers out. Elevator's the only way up. So let's go. Key card required. Damn, it's locked. Check the desk. Someone always leaves their key card at work. Why can't I just shoot it? That's not how it works. I told you, you can't just shoot your way through all your problems. <sighs> Fine. No key card here.
seeing a key card. There is an incoming call from Atticus Marshall. So, did you really think you could just waltz into my building and take your little Mercedes back? <laughs> this assault is nothing more than a temper tantrum. You go ahead. Shoot whomever you like. I'll be high. Destroy the whole fucking building. I'll rebuild. And it won't change. I'll still own you. Because I have more lawyers than you have bullets. In the end, I will win. I will always. Here either. has a key card. See? I told you so. You told me I'd find one in a desk. I had to murder this guy to get it. I guess we're both right. Shall we go? Oh, 
Eli, I'm coming! Eli, I'm coming! Atticus's last stand? You go on. I'll see if I can find anything useful in here. Suit yourself. I'm coming, motherfucker. Just you son of a bitch! Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Well, then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board, and I'll scratch your back real good. So, how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal. Marshall is getting ready to host its annual expo. It'll be the perfect time to take Atticus down. Are you ready? Past ready. I'll let you know when we're in position. Good. I left you a thumb drive at a dead drop. You'll need the override codes on it. Got the thumb drive. Myra, it's me. Crew's all set. Fantastic. Atticus will be unveiling Marshall's new AI-powered tank at our expo today. You're going to steal the tank and cause mayhem in the city. And how does that get Atticus fired? A public debacle like this will cause Marshall's stock value to plummet. Once the board loses enough money, they'll drop Atticus like a two-ton turkey. 
All right, team, we are go. What's your status? I tailed Atticus to the expo. He's getting ready to give a press conference. Good. I want his reaction on film. Who's next? I'm the Hanking Claws. They're ready to help us hack into the Marshall tank. Have him limber up those fingers then. Eli? I'm on comms. I'm watching the market and I've already shorted the stock. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I'll go get the tank and start blowing shit up. I'm here. You need physical access to the tank, so do something you wish to lure it out. Hey, assholes! Your security is shit. I could do something me-ish with that APC turret. They've deployed the tank. Great. Now get in the cockpit. What? You need to put the thumb drive in the control port. And at this point, it's probably safer inside than out. I'm in. Now what? Insert Myra's thumb drive with the override codes and you'll be good to go. What is happening? That was easy. Guess Marshall never thought one of their big wigs would help to boost one of their tanks. All right. Now that everyone thinks you're Marshall's state-of-the-art AI tank, go forth and destroy. Does it matter what I blow up? Whatever can be blown up should be blown up. The more public, the better. There's a strip mall near you that will make a good target. This is the best day ever. Out of the way! Get to the mall for better visibility. Market is starting to take notice. I like it when you boom. I think I found my new hobby. Is doing. Is he sweating yet? The press is starting to turn up the heat. Here, listen. Our goal at Marshall is to remove human error when it comes to the public safety. Then how do you respond to reports of a rogue tank wreaking havoc in the city? I say let a Marshall AI tank step in and stop it. How do you respond to reports that the rogue tank is in fact a Marshall AI tank? How dare you make false accusations? I'm gonna sue you. Your paper and your entire fucking family! <laughs> They're pulling him off stage. Oh, he looks pissed. Ah! Shit! What is it? The stock price is going up. Why? You're destroying their reputation. Probably because the stock price is so low. Someone must be buying it up. Okay, get your hacker buddies to find out who it is. Give us a sec. And it's Wes Paulson. Owner of the Smelters football team. Well, he's about to regret his decision. I'm gonna go blow the hell out of this fucking Smelter statue. Taking out that Smelter statue will turn all the fans against Marshall. Uh. One more. Oh. 
Wilson's gonna regret buying that stock if you drop that statue. Smelter statue will turn all the fans against Marshall. Okay. Oh! Got you outnumbered. <laughs> Paulson's gonna regret buying that stock if you drop that statue. That's for hijacking our stock scam. Good. Also to back off now. Stock should go back down. Uh oh, there's a problem here. The chute can't move. Uh, looks like the drivetrain is overheating. We'll run a remote coolant flush, and you should be good to go. You guys want to hurry up? Us hurry up. It wouldn't have overheated if you weren't driving like a fucking rental. It's a simple fix. <laughs> hurry up. Okay. Fuck. Now the guns aren't working. Grenade! You're good to go. Thank you. I'm going around to the front of the stadium to blow the shit out of this expo. Man, I really want to rub this in Atticus's face. Hank, Claude, patch the old fucker through. Patching. Atticus, my man, what's up? What do you want? No, I don't have time for this. Because of that Marshall tank busting up the city? What do you know about that? Oh, it's me. What? Yeah, we hacked your tank. It's been me the whole time. You son of a bitch! When I get my hands on you! You won't, because I'm in your tank. Motherfuck! Buy something nice. Buy something? No, 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 no. We're reinvesting. I trust you, Eli. Buy low, sell high. You know what's low and guaranteed to go high when Myra Star takes over? Marshall stock. Okay. As long as I get a cut. My, my. You actually did it. Myra, how'd you like my work? How's about we finish our deal? To the point. I like it. Come to my office and we'll sign the paperwork. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're just in time for the vote. You think you could fire me? My family built this business! My name is on the goddamn building! Our stock price is rock bottom, and our shareholders want your head. It's the Saints! They exposed the frontier. They robbed my train. They ruined my good name! We've done the risk assessment, and you are a liability. Bullshit! This company's nothing without me! The motion is to terminate Atticus Marshall and appoint me chair of the board. All in favor? All opposed? You have a tie. Now what are you gonna do? Let's ask the tiebreaker.
Atticus Marshall, you are fired. Get your hands off me! You haven't heard the last of Atticus Marshall! Yes, I'm sure we'll hear you hollering all the way down to the lobby. You held up your end of the deal. And now, so have I. The Saints are all yours. Thanks. You made a good team. Don't go mistaking us for friends. This was business. You interfere with Marshall again, and you'll get the horns. Looks like Myra Starr is as good as her word. We got the paperwork officially signed in the Saints, back over to us. Plus, it looks like she's pulling back on Marshall's military escalation. All those checkpoints on the west side have cleared out. Guess we really scared them off. More likely the bad press was starting to build up. Even in this country, you can't militarize a city that much without pissing people off. Whatever the reason, let's take the win. Back to business as usual for the Saints. Move already! Oh shit, it's a stick.
Must be hard to insure people with that safe in town. If those Panteros got beat, then those Saints are really strong. Nothing has ever been solved in a meeting. Just what Santa Elisa needs. Saints really showed Los Panteros, huh? Are they gonna report this? Big time thief roaming around. 